Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes. For this flight I'm going to fly from Warsaw to Budapest in an A50, a Beriev A50. What is a Beriev A50? Well, this is a Beriev A50. If it looks to you like an Illusion IL-76, that is because it is based on it. It is basically an AWACS version of the IL-76. So, yep, a uh, unique plane obviously, and freeware. And uh, I, 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 I don't know if you're going to be able to find a payware version of an IL-76, so this is as good as we're going to get. And uh, it's pretty good for that. And uh, the cockpit is nice. Uh, of course, uh, I, I don't know, the overhead panel is always a tough one. Anyway, so uh, we are going to fly, continuing with the Apollo 12 audio already in progress, so picking that up. And exterior view. I want to. I want to start moving out. Okay. Go. All right. Go. I'll just pick up this one big, big rock here. Pick, pick it in the back. Okay. So obviously the. Surface crew, Pete Conrad and Al Bean, are still in the midst of their EVA, but wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. I understand you're going to allow me 20 pounds of other rocks, is that right? Before. They're trying to get as many rocks as possible, Pete, as you can see. what we'd like see. to do is to uh, get an estimate from you of uh, how much do you think you got in the first SRC in terms of uh, volume or weight. Well, I'm going to say about 250 airplanes. Let's see, a maximum load is 80 total pounds, right? Obviously a heavy lift vehicle by get. design. It's a pack that I sent up was about a 60 pounder. Move the box. Okay, I wanted to uh, fly by downtown Warsaw, and that's actually, it really is lifting quite a lot, so got to moderate that. I think that we're fairly close. There is actually a uh, payware C-17 available, I think. That's not too different from this. Okay, where's downtown Warsaw? Yeah, there it is. Close -up stereo camera going. Okay. Just made a big U-turn there. We're gonna have to make another U-turn to head back to where we're supposed to be going, which is south. We're heading north right now. Actually, the wingspan is only a little Roger, bit Pete, uh, more than the length. You're 3 plus 16 into the EVA, and for a four-hour EVA, you're right on. 50 meters compared to 49 okay. meters. Very good. Whatever happened to the famous Warsaw radio right. mast? Roger, it collapsed, the, uh, right? How far off the nominal position was it? Yeah, 1991. Used to be the tallest thing. The world's tallest structure. Roger. This thing is driving me buggy. Okay. Second tallest structure ever built, uh, except for the Burj Khalifa. Unfortunately, no longer on the Warsaw landscape. Well, I mean, it was, I mean, it wasn't the most spectacular architectural structure ever. Just tall. 
so. But anyway. I don't know any of the other monuments around here, so. Maybe somebody recognized something as we passed well, over. There is sort of a viewing here. tower right there. Observation platform. I believe I've gotten scenery for the way down, but it looks like... Whoops, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Looks like we're lacking scenery to the left there. And have it to the right, so I'll stay to the right. When I say scenery, I mean the photo scenery. Let's see, I don't see any obvious red line. Well, we better... Pitch down a bit. Gently, gently, gently. Oddly responsive for such a big plane, to be honest. But then again, it's very lightly loaded right now. Not even carrying a full fuel load. Not even close, actually. Because it can go for like more than 10 hours. We don't have that long a flight. It's a nice view, except for the somewhat messed up photo scenery on the edge there. Okay, departing yeah, Warsaw. Even though I zigzag through Europe, we've missed quite a lot of places. We are obviously not going to be flying over Russia for this flight, otherwise I would have saved the plane like this for Russia. Apologies to uh, Poland, uh, Slovenia, and Hungary for... I don't know if there's any ill will towards a Soviet plane flying over, but uh, I don't know. I mean, it's historical, but I would understand mixed feelings about that. Cable is about put it in the foot pit. This TV cable is gonna drive me crazy. Here you are. 
Want me to take it and move it out of the area? I did try to throw it under the limb. Then, I mean, I can grab one of it and just pull it out if you want. Huh? Why do I do that? Well, I'm tangled up in the LAC now. It happens every damn time. Okay, I'll put this. Where do you want me to put this? Right here. Right in the foot pad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straighten this LAC up right now. There you go. Now, look. When I disappear with the LAC, you get that TV cable and get it out of here. Okay. There you go. Now. Just throw the TV cable under the space cram. Okay, just a second. There we it's go. a little bit difficult to get trimmed here. Yeah, look at the face of it. The engines each provide 117 kilonewtons. Apparently, it's more or less airliner type stats. Service ceiling 39,000 feet. I wonder how much the big dish actually changes the aerodynamics of it. And also whether the fact that it's rotating in one direction, I don't feel any I don't think there's any effect to this model of it from that, but whether in real life that has any effect that it's rotating in one direction. Some sort of yaw. Might be slow enough that it doesn't make too much of a difference. Depends how heavy it is. I'm sure the stuff in the dish is super secret as an early warning system would be. Mostly small towns and farmland. Some foresty area here. Spalski Park, and I cannot pronounce the rest of that. Uh, 
Yep. I'm not going to try and pronounce any of these town names. Probably for the best. I thought somebody had asked me to fly by somewhere in Poland, but maybe I was wrong. I was looking through the comments. Don't see anything. Pete, that uh, glass brush should be over there on the hand tool carrier if that would be of use to you. They're using it right now. Roger. How do we in that direction? Really bright in this direction. Not too sure the shading, shading yeah. is doing a good job on this plane. Send a little bit, we're getting a bit high. That's no good for seeing anything. Granted, we're over farmland and forest, but still. Okay, we'd like to give you a little weight summary for the uh, rock boxes. Yeah, if we estimate you probably got about the same in rock box two as you did in rock box one. No problem there. The uh, surveyor parts and TV camera were showing nominal 25 pounds and 15. What you can put uh, on the bag that goes on the floor is about 15 pounds worth of rocks. And in the left-hand side stowage bag, you can put about 25 pounds of rocks. So I guess those are the two you're working for now. 15 pounds worth of rocks on the bag on the floor and 25 pounds on the uh, left-hand side stowage bag. We don't have that many rocks, Houston. I'll tell you what we got. We got FRC2. It's full and closed. It's, uh, gosh, I hope I got it all in there. Let me see. Solar wind, core tubes, environmental gear, sample documented samples, uh, all laid it in. Yep. The box is full, and I closed it, and I've got about, what's one inch on my scale? Got about one inch worth of rocks in another bag, and that's it. That's all the rocks we got. I just stand by for that number, Pete. Well, the clouds are Pete, casting quite a lot of shadow. It's about uh, 10 to 15 pounds. No problem. Pack it up. Okay. That, that, that's good. Okay. Now let me ask you another question. Uh, I can get some more rocks. <laughs> I can I get some more rocks. That. I like his attitude. Well, Al is taking stereo photos. We'll see if I can get ourselves. Okay, I'm gonna. T I don't have a camera to go along with this, so I'll just tell Houston where I'm taking a picture, and then they'll know. The Take moon has no shortage of rocks. You can okay, always pick Houston, a few I'm more up. A camera. I'm <laughs> taking a picture now. About ten feet from the limb, between the plus Y and the plus and the minus Z strut, and I'm hoping to show the effects of the engine exhaust on the lunar surface. 
Uh, a little bit of stuttery here. We're approaching Krakow. Gonna try and get this thing to descend a bit. Basically idling the engines at this point. Take two of the rock. Since we're not carrying much now of a load, a I, I wouldn't be surprised if we could glide quite a ways with the this. Of that. It's even got these surfaces one. here. I don't know what those are for specifically. To uh, help with transonic aerodynamics, I would guess. Area rule sort of thing. It's sort of an odd thing though. Pete, Houston. I'm in an area now, Houston. It looks like. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we recommend that you uh, pack up where you are and uh, start uh, trying to pack up excess uh, rocks you just got and uh, think about ingress. Okay, very good. Houston, I'd like to uh, uh, comment to all the people who are involved in this EVA. My congratulations. Well, I think you two folks did an excellent job. gymnast on us. You gotta watch it though, you get all that mass going around and you get in trouble. What's up with Yankee Clipper this morning? Yankee Clipper looks real good. He's been uh, doing P-22s and uh, rolling right off. Good. Okay, Pete, I'll take this as my last. Okay, you can see the surveyor. Has he been able to see us out there? Okay, that did it, Pete. All right. No report on that, Pete. I think it looks like P-22, I just looked it up, uh, P-22 is the program to track the LEM for rendezvous, so I guess he's just warming up the computer for that. Oh, sudden rebuilding of clouds. 
Krakow is to our board right. Krakow. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's got a little accent mark on the O. Okay. We're going really fast. I think we got all the film in, didn't we, Pete? Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's send the... Uh, I wanted to get below the clouds, I but... This in we got quite a load. Yeah. Now, one, one thing I need to do is hand me the surveyor. Surveyor back, come back. I'm sure I could deploy some speed brakes, but... Not in that much of a hurry. Did I say Slovenia? I meant Slovakia earlier. I think I accidentally said Slovenia. We are approaching Slovakia. Or... I might be using an old term for it. Uh, nope. Uh, Slovak Republic, officially. We are approaching the Slovak Republic. Still going too fast. Okay, air brakes. Whoa, that really makes us pitch down a lot. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Uh, retract those, retract those. That's probably not a good thing in that net. Still can't really see the ground with all that shadowing. Some little indications of settlements, but nothing very clear. Up here we go again. Oh, much better looking landscape up ahead though. Oh, mountains. Well, okay. uh, those would be Alps, all right. I'll rush. Take your time. The trailing part of the Alps, the eastern part of the Alps. I gotta get the secrets camera out of the window. I don't want to leave it in here when I'm in here. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you can't ever get the picture of the lemon hurt. Nope. Very nice area here, but not a whole lot of stuff I can talk about on the map. By which I mean not a whole lot of stuff I can pronounce on the map. <laughs> Sorry. Or even venture. 
to attempt to pronounce. Hey, Houston, the surveyor gear is up. Coming back for SRC. Two. Roger, Pete. Copy, surveyor parts by again. really need to go further to the west though. Not, not yet. Just fall out. Uh oh. It's okay. That's beautiful. Oh boy. Okay. Take her. Ah. Uh, take her away. Okay. And, uh, the game is don't rush and do it right. Okay. So oh, here I go to get you. A rock box. I think, uh, well, this river in front of us with the lakes and all is still technically in Poland, but the border is like right south of it. Quite a view. Well, glad I got some scenery over here. Interesting little valley we've got. Okay, left away. You got a rock box. Okay. Oh no, I take uh, no. That's a uh, smaller boundary, not wait, the. Wait a minute. Wait. So we were over this lake, which I can't pronounce. Nope, go. definitely right, not. Okay, and a few more seconds and we're in Slovakia. Don't really see any clear delineation, but Slovakian border right there and we are in Slovakia. Go figure. Okay, Pete, go ahead. There's a Tatransky Narodny Park here, and that's that's presumably this set of mountains here. There seems to be a bad patch of scenery over there. Or I don't know. And so a white area is very suspicious. I'll just focus on this magnificent looking set of mountains. contemplated treks across Russia before. One would be like Trans-Siberian Railway version, or uh, one is down the Volga, which is quite a big river.
How's your V cup? You got the ETB in with the TV camera, close up stereo, and the film packs. Yeah, it was a bad patch okay, there. Now, Pete, here comes, here comes the LAC. Watch out. All right. <laughs> Man, that really comes out, doesn't it? <laughs> Gee, that went 50 feet. I don't know what went 50 feet, but. Okay, let's see. Have I forgotten anything? Okay, well I see a, a stretch, a, a corridor where there's actual scenery, so I'm going to aim for that. It looks like the rest is actually just cloud covered, maybe. They just got the scenery at a time when there, it was very cloudy, which is bad. Okay, you got the, uh, also the one camera which had the third film pack on. The third film pack never got used. Yeah, I did too, Pete. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, we got three film packs to one camera up there right now. How's that? Did you, did you send the film pack up? Yeah. Okay, we sent all three film packs. Oh, I can. Oh, 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 there is something I want. Get a final view of that That's mountain range. Uh, low uh, water pressure, Houston. I just turned off my water. That's good. Stand by on that, uh, Al. Pete, uh, also, uh, how about the tools? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Still a very alpine feel, to be honest, as far as the general color scheme of the terrain. I want to turn off your water too, Pete. Yeah, I do. I was sitting here thinking there was something I ought to do. Mine's off. Nice little ridge here. Okay. Houston, uh, if you can mark me off the lunar surface or the foot pad. Roger, we got that beat at uh, three hours and 50 minutes into the EVA. Pete Conrad is now off the lunar surface. Oh, sorry. Is that Albin okay, or Pete? Yes, that sounded like Pete, but... I hope. Well, I'll tell you, Al, I... that LEC really got me dirty. I sometimes mix yeah, Albine and Pete Conrad right up. The voices seem very similar to me. But... I think if I paid closer attention, I'd be able to tell them apart better. Okay, any okay, chance I can get no this flat. town? Head down. Come down. That's better. Revuka. That's it. Come on in. At least that's the best I can do. R E V U C A. Uh to our okay, board left. left. Well actually Which Yeah, way? well I guess ah, right there. It was me.
Let's check on. Oh. The. Well, I don't even have that three. K FPS plugin active, and it's been pretty smooth so far. So I'll leave it off. We are uh, not too far from Budapest right now. I expect more intense scenery there, so I might have to activate that plugin. That's a nice. If the shadows on the plane were a little bit better, that'd be nice. They are discovering new and interesting Cabin sounds. <laughs> to pound and a half now. As they are repressurizing. Two pounds. I guess that's the sound of air rushing in, maybe? I don't know. Sounds quite forceful. We've got a town there. Up to three pounds. Rimavska Sabota is apparently that town. Nice little town. Four pounds. And apparently we got an odd patch in a different season impinging right there. Right there is a pretty good look too. Nice clouds today. Okay, let me read you. Yeah. Okay. Cabin repress valve closes at four four. Verify cabin pressure stable at four six. Looks good to me, Pete. Um post EVA systems config. Verify EV cert. Look over there and make sure suit fan one is closed. And I'll make sure that suit fan delta P is closed. Okay, just a second. Okay, approaching the border with Hungary. Now we don't have anything left but a little rendezvous. Ha 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 ha. Ascent and rendezvous, Ascent and rendezvous, yes. Just the little thing called rendezvous. I 
can't turn it. Can you get it open? Sure, sure. Look at the purge valve. This has to rotate with the other. Got your, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we are now out of Slovakia and in Hungary. to red, blue to blue. Isolation both the suit both. Okay, would you turn mine on? Thank you. You got it. Does that feel good? Okay. Let's kick it. Just pump off and fan off. It's back pressure in your fan. Okay, that's good. Disconnect plus H2O from PGA. Connect plus H2O. I'll get yours. You get mine. Looks like uh, Hungary was captured in a somewhat drier season than uh, Slovakia. Intrepid, Houston. Intrepid, uh, hooked up on the uh, Intrepid system. How do you read? We read you loud and clear, Pete. And we're standing by to give you any help on the storage you may need. And when you get down to it, we also have some good words for you on uh, how to um, stow the TV camera. Okay, uh, we'll uh, wait for a while. Let us get through our checklist, please. Ah, uh, that troublesome Roger. TV camera. This is Apollo Control at 135 hours, 41 minutes. 
We will pass on the EVA heart rate and BTU information as soon as it is available. Uh, should be uh, within a few minutes, shouldn't be very long. We copied Al Bean back in the limb at 135 hours, 10 minutes. A oh, very seconds. clear day now Bean over Conrad. Hungary. This is real world back weather, so apparently right now, hours, not a cloud in the sky. Three seconds. So this highway here uh, should lead us to Budapest. Hello, uh, Houston, uh, Intrepid. In fact, Intrepid pretty. Uh, I think that's just Budapest right there. Roger, are we a little bit early, or do you want me to uh, go ahead with the checklist and uh, put on my uh, and that river uh, is the Danube. Stand by, Pete. The infamous Danube. Well, I've got a lot of descending to do, and this Pete, thing does uh, not sure that you are do that ahead. quickly. You can go ahead and complete that step, and uh, we'll be back with you to uh, on any items which we would like you to hold on. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that in, and uh, we're going to go ahead with our jettison here shortly. Oh, yeah, I, I feel some lag going on here because it's got a lot of stuff to load in Budapest. Uh, let's see if it's just a temporary thickiness or whether I need to turn on some limiting factor here. Uh, it might be doable. It is stuttery though. Yeah. We'll turn it on. So, airport we want to land at LHBP. Which is this one. Translist International. Oh, well, I mean, it says Frank List. I guess that's the proper way of rendering his name. List for rank. Roger, copy. You're right on the timeline. Good airport name. A pretty intense city. Not as uh, intense. There was uh, in flights in 10 FSX. There was a version of Budapest that I simply couldn't fly through. <laughs> um, that was even more spectacular. Well, for the time. I'm sure this actually looks better. Look at that. I, I don't know which side is Buda and which side is Pest, actually. Let me see if I can figure that out. For Descartes, roll. 8-9-er. 2-1-7. 3-1-9-er. T-1. 1-3-7. From our own. Roll. 6-2. One six two three one two T one one three eight a zero three four seven Three, three, eight. T1 is 
Buddha is the settlements on the west bank of the river. Okay. So, Pesh is the part that we're passing, and we would be currently over the Buddha side. <laughs> Whatever, it's one city now. Mm, one city that needs more limiting of that stuff, the autogen. Basically, that just restricts the autogen radius around me. I don't see a whole lot of unique buildings or anything, but maybe I just turned them off. But we'll get to a lower altitude. I restored the autogen. Now that we're at a lower level, let's see what we've got here. Is that central island that's got some some sort of monument? Pretty sure there shouldn't be trees in the middle of that stadium. Pretty sure. Seems to be some sort of palace ground over here. Uh, yeah, I can't fly and search for that info at the same time, unfortunately. Going pretty fast here. All I see on the map right now is Varo Sliget for that palace ground area. And Margit Sliget for that island. Well, some sort of factory over here. Very important looking chimney stack. Seems like a business area down there. Or just lots of residential. Ah, I don't know. There's got to be business going on if there's going to be high-rise residential too. Buddha Kalas. Oh, that's actually further on. This is Becca's Megir. I'm trying. Probably shouldn't, but... Okay, I think it's time to land. The EVA crew, P. Conrad and Al Bean are back in. There's lots of airports to choose from, but I'll go with LHBP as planned. Let's see. All right. Well, I could double back a bit. Okay. 
I don't think the landing speed of this is particularly high. I, it looked like I could get off the ground at like 100 knots on takeoff. They're lighter now. Okay, this should allow another low pass over the city, and then we'll turn. Landing gear creates quite a lot of drag, actually. Okay, time to turn to the runway. It's probably a bit high. Now let's, let's use the lamp, huh? Okay, we'll get you a pad for the lamp. I'm a bit hesitant yeah, right now. Seems a little bit more laggy in here than out there. Let's get rid of the autogen. Deck, well, we need some words on the uh, status of that hatch window in order to help us interpret the uh, data you're getting back from the 158. Oh, I gotta pick a runway. I'll take the one on the left. We're coming in low again. <laughs> this is way low. Let's pump it up a bit. Hello, Houston Intrepid. Intrepid Houston, go ahead. Roger, Commander Seedwater remaining. Point three two kg. But yeah, it's it's got pretty low. Point three two kilograms. Landing speed though. There we go, there's the runway. Point two six. Roger, Intrepid. Yankee Clipper, Houston, one minute. One and a half minutes to LOS. Oh, no, no, that's high level winds. Roger, 
checking if there were winds. I don't think there's that much. Pressurization of Intrepid's cabin is complete now after the jettison. The uh, seismometer people say they recorded uh, really low. Sorry about that. Impacts uh, during this jettisoning period. Move all the lift that was getting earlier. Somewhat paranoid about that. Intrepid Houston, comm check. Lab clear, the equipment's jettisoned. We're just cleaning up the cockpit. Sorry. Roger, Pete. Uh, we copy uh, two impacts on the PSE during jettison. That's plus one and plus two. Roger. Uh, they were, as a matter of fact, uh, as a matter of fact, that may help you calibrate uh, okay. that thing because let me, uh, I got a clean kick on both of them. In other words, when they left the hatch, uh, they departed the hatch and went free fell. Okay, the well, the it can certainly stop. Without touching the ladder or anything on the way. Okay, they pretty much went straight out and uh, on a ballistic right on down and hit the ground. Didn't uh, arc up at all. That's right. That's right. So that's the jettison okay, of their portable life support s system and other junk that they want to leave on the on the surface. All right, uh, I'm gonna pause it right there before they start talking again. And we have arrived in Budapest. And next time I'll be flying. I I, I think I'll be flying to Belgrade. Um, and that's because the plane I've got. I think it'll take quite a lot longer than one hour to get to Sofia in Bulgaria. We'll just fly over Sofia, I think. And then uh, after that, Belgrade to Istanbul. So, I don't know, can I just take this taxiway? I don't want to wait for the other taxiway. Ah, eh, I'll just taxi on. It's no, nobody else is going to come over here anyway. So, okay, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flight. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.